guys, how are you? Good? Let's go to our November 4th class. Before we start the class, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel, remembering to activate the notifications, okay? The text on November 4th talks about the opening of a modern, muse modern art museum in Jakarta, Indonesia, and it presents an interview with the museum director, where he gives some characteristics of the place and also about his career. Verse from the text, we're gonna have to open, to engage, to promote, to be, to house, to ask, to give, to bring, to mention, and to illustrate. Home practice that starts on page 1142 and finishes on page 1144 will ask you, junior students, to answer some questions about the text. So, letter A. Where is Macan? Macan is in Nusantara, Indonesia. Letter B. When was it opened? It was opened on November 4th. How many works will it house? The museum will house 800 works of modern and contemporary art. D. What did Iron do in his previous jobs? He worked as a director of 4A Center for Contemporary Art in San Sydney and also worked as a curatorial manager of Asian and Pacific Art at Queensland Art Gallery and Gallery of Modern Art. Letter E. How does he describe his versatility? He described it because uh, saying that one of his jobs was in a non-profit institute, non-profit company, and the other one is a large state collection. After that, seniors had to answer the question, what is the importance of a museum in your opinion, using accessories? This is a personal question, of course, but, for example, a museum is not only important to help provide protection to various pieces of artwork, but also to allow people from all over the world to see them. And then Masters had a question too. The question was, how often do you go to a museum? Why do you do, do or don't you go there? Using, of course, accessories again. An example, because it's also personal, I go to museums whenever I can. Even though there are not many famous art museums in Brasilia, I love to, the go, to go to the ones in the city every now and then. I also like to try to visit museums while I'm traveling to different places. And the review, since we're talking about different places, is about there to be. What is there to be? There to be is used to express existence, usually when we are describing places. Okay? Don't confuse there to be with have. Have will transmit an idea of possession. There to be existence. Okay? We can use there to be in all the verb tenses with all modal verbs. Okay? There are a lot of possibilities. But we're going to focus on simple present, simple past, and the modal verb will that expresses future. In simple present, there to be will have two different forms. There is and there are. There is when the noun that follows it is singular or uncountable. There are when the noun is plural. Examples. There is a river that crosses the city of London. Or there are many government buildings in Brasilia. In simple past, we also have two options. There was for singular and uncountable nouns. There were for plural ones. Examples. There was an earthquake in San Francisco last year. Or there were two famous buildings in New York City named the World Trade Center. And as I said, we're also going to talk about it using the modal verb will that expresses future. When I use will, we only have one option. There will be. That will be used for singular, for plural, and for uncountable nouns. Example, there will be a big sports event in Tokyo next year. Okay? And that's it for there to be. Now, you are able to talk to your teacher, ok? 
okay? Explore him, talk to him uh, about all these different uses of there to be. There are lots of possibilities. And after that, after you watch a live class, you can do the class practice activities on your book, okay? So thank you so much. Have a great day and see you next class. See you. Bye-bye.